We are now going to use Revit to import the SAT files that we exported out of Rhino previously. We are going to use a template um, that I made to start this import process and we're going to use two files that I've also provided for you if you don't have your own SAT files. You should be able to access these files on Canvas or on a link from the YouTube channel. So I have Revit open and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Project New and I'm going to start from a blank template. So if you click on under Project New you can go to Browse and you can browse to where you have saved that template. It should be named NV-1 and I'm going to click Open here. And What it's going to do is it's going to use the properties of this template to start a new project. So this template will always be available as a blank file and you will be able to start projects using it. I'm going to click OK and it's going to open up that blank file to a splash screen. Um, you can come in here and you can double click on this project name and change it, mass variation, and you could put your name in here at, as designer if you would like. The next thing we're going to do is import those SAT files and best practice for that is really to go to your site plan. So I'm going to come over here to my project browser and there is a site right here under floor plans. Your project browser may be over here but I want to double click on site and what that's going to do is it's going to bring us into the site plan view. So basically what we're doing is we're looking down on top of um, <clears throat> a Revit file from above. This is a scope box. This is a scope box which we'll go over later. We have some elevations and sections and so what we want to do is we want to import those files that we created directly into here. And what we want to do <clears throat> is we want to trick Revit a little bit by categorizing these as a particular category within Revit so Revit can understand and manipulate it. We'll see uh, why this is the case later. You'll just have to trust me on this one. So the process for this is to come up to your architecture tab up here and go to the component pull down and go to model in place. And what that does is it brings up a family category and parameters. And what we're going to do is we're going to categorize this so Revit knows what it is. If you do not categorize things that you bring into Revit, it will be able to see them as 3D objects, but it won't be able to section or cut uh, things and you won't be able to control the visibility of it or like we're going to do um, calculate mass floors um, and things like that and schedule things. So come in here, select mass, click OK and it's going to turn on the show mass mode. So there's a, uh, a visibility setting that Revit has that turns the masses on when you are creating them and that's great. So you can click close there and then it wants you to give a name. <clears throat> so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to use this as base mass and that's going to give this um, family a name and I'm going to click OK and it's going to send me into what is called sketch mode um, <clears throat> where we could create a, a mass of our own here but really all we want to do is import that SAT file that we created in Rhino. So I'm going to go to the insert and I am going to actually link it as opposed to import it. I would recommend linking things over importing them um, just as a rule because if you change the link it will update as opposed to having to re-import something and some bad things can happen sometimes if you import CAD drawings and they accidentally get exploded. Um, so I'm going to go to link CAD here. It's going to bring up a dialog box and I'm going to navigate to where I saved those SAT files. Now it's showing me drawing files here. I want to come down to files of type and I want to pick the SAT files. And the first one I want to pick is this Rhino export. And you're going to notice that we have a lot of options down here. It's going to preserve the colors which as an SAT is white pretty much. Um, if there were any layers which there will only be one in the SAT It'll auto detect the import unit so if you're using units correctly in Rhino it will correctly come in. Um, if you have something that either ends up being really small or very very tiny 
um, then probably you're working in millimeters in Rhino and don't realize it, so you need to double check that. It's going to do auto origin to origin, so it's going to match the 00 of Rhino up to the 00 of Revit. You do have other options down here, so auto center to center will take the center of the geometry and place it in the center of Revit. Um, it's just a good practice to do origin to origin, basically, so you can you know where you are in both programs and you know exactly where things are going to come in. It's going to place this on the A1 plane and I'm going to click open at this point and it is going to import that and you see that file. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click finish mass because I need to get out of the sketch mode and back into the regular Revit. So you'll notice when I click finish mass my Revit toolbar comes back. Now I'm going to go to my default 3D view which is this little house in the quick access toolbar. Your quick access toolbar may be up here I'm going to go to the house and you're going to see that object. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure that I can control how this guy looks. So in the next part um, what we're going to do is we're going to change the material and update the name of this as an imported object which is extremely important.